everyone, welcome back to Dying Light. And in the last episode, we climbed that very tall tower. Very distressing it was. Then Luan came along and slapped our face. And then complained to us because her sneakers were a bit torn up. So we've got to go and find her some shoes, apparently. That's great, isn't it? Right, let's have a look at the old map. Come on, Mr. Map. Oh, oh we've got a long way to go. That's a military airdrop. Like, I thought it might be somewhere relatively nearby. I don't think it is. So we've got to follow Luan. So what we've got to do, essentially, is jump over to that that uh, rooftop over there, I think. I can't remember how to get my parachute open. I've not played in a couple of weeks. Where is the paraguy? I don't want to just jump off the edge and hurtle to my death. Right, yeah, it is square. L backwards to pull up and stabilise. Okay, we can do that. Nice. I'm just going to head for that building. So, okay, bit, happy bit faster than this. Tower. Come on. I didn't have a chance to talk Come to on, yet. look, my stamina's going. Bloody you hell. Your chance to find Mia? Get down, get down. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. Back? Were they stolen? The one? If you knew where your things were, why uh. haven't you gone back to get them before now? Oh, look. Look at this. Nice. So that's sniper mask. That's rations. Inhibitor. Excellent. Is there more to pick up? I'm pleased about that. I'm sort of less grumpy now. You'd be glad to know. Um, oh, we still got to follow her, don't we? Okay, open with the GRE access key. Yeah, it was still highlighting this as something of interest, so. Military airdrop. Pick it up. Military tech. Yeah, I think I can use that tech to upgrade my parachute. Um, well, we've got to go down. Is she in this building? Let's have a look. Come on. Well, she's to the left anyway. Bloody hell. God, I could do without this. Right, she's 61 meters below. So is there a, a hatch? Well, this is still highlighted as something of interest. Oh, okay. Um, jump up here. Is this like a clue, this this thing here? Bob! Okay. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, we, we're here. Okay. <laughs> I sort of almost killed myself then. Let's get rid of the grappling thing for a minute, because that's irritating sometimes, seeing it always popping up. Is that her? Get up with Luan. Yeah, let's talk to you. See that opening? Nope. Oh, yeah, I do now. Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Oh. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? So bloody rude. Why won't you go with me? Hey, look, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. <laughs> oh, fine, I'll go. I'm fine, chicken. Right, let's find her underwear drawer and blow her nose on it. Um... There was an open thing somewhere, was there? Oh, this is it, is it? Open? 
Light on, put the light on. We're gonna get downstairs, I presume. <coughs> Apartment. Okay, down there. <coughs> Which part? Oh, two one six, wasn't it? Okay. Well, that's got a handle on it. Oh yeah, 216. And there's inhibitor here as well. Okay, let's get in. I'm inside. Ooh. Don't touch anything. Oh, I might do. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? So look around. Look for the underwear. Um, investigate. Cool. <laughs> really? <laughs> Wonder if it works. <laughs> I've not seen a radio like that in Yonks. Oh no. Our mixtape. Hmm. This is not like the one I know. Right. Well, so we're not going to listen to that, which I'm relieved about. Right, let's look at the stains. Are oh, we going to pick these up, are we? A guy's boots? Ooh. Right, so we're snooping. Right, look at the stains on this carpet. Hmm. It's a cosy place. Was that it, was it? Let's open this. Oh, there's nothing. What a cheapskate. Uh, more clues through here. Oh, that's the front door. Let's shut the door. Wrong shirt. Right, where's this inhibitor? Oh, the inhibitor is... Where? It's only nine metres away, wherever it is. More clues, come on. Look for a rotten shoes. Oh, upstairs. Oh, here we go, here we go. Through there, come on. How do I get there? Look, I can see the box. Oh, there's a clue there. Wow. The one. Who'd have thought? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you find them yet? I'm sorry. I, I don't see a red box anywhere. You dope. You're not looking hard enough. There's another room behind the plywood. Ah. Secret room behind the plywood. Is this, the, is this plywood? It looks like artwork to me. Uh, can I climb up here? Well, here we go. How do I get through there? Do I have to bash that down? Yeah. It's like kill a horrible picture. How do I get there? Through there, that's right. Idiot. Uh, investigate. The one? You look almost... Uh, yeah, almost yeah. Almost happy. She looks exactly the same as she always did. <sighs> this. <clears throat> okay, this is cutscene. Pretty cosy nest. Um, why well, move to the canteen? Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. Oh, it's such a cliche though, isn't it? Young lady being obsessed with her shoes. Steal all this. Come on. Great. Upgrade available. Investigate this. Vintage 2025. Small fortune in these bottles. Right, so 2025 is considered vintage, but she's got a crappy little cassette machine in the back. <laughs> All right, we're looking at a rotten bed, are we? Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. God, that's a bit sleazy, isn't it? 
honestly, a cassette machine. Ridiculous. Let's look in here. Find these effing shoes. Ah, oh, rotten little cardigan there. Stuff over here. Oh! Get all this. What a bow. Well, at least we're stealing his stuff. Oh, there's more to investigate. Hey, Luan, I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I didn't... Luan, yeah, wait. A little bit intrusive. What? Hakon. Oh, oh Hakon. Ah. <laughs> Hakon, our French pal. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. All right. Interesting. Oh, shit. Luan. Yeah, Harkon was our French buddy, but he turned out to be a bit of a, a bit of a nasty piece of work. I still like him though. I'd much rather have him than Luan. Oh, I've got to get down through here, do we? Uh, up again. Yeah, Luan is a pain in the ass. Come on, let's jump. Where's the front door? Gotta climb up again, do we? No easy way out. What do we get downstairs? No. Uh. Oh, all right. Okay. We gotta get up to that. Fair enough. Up and up. I think I'm gonna get more stamina. Oops. Come on. Let's hear what she's got to say. Where is she? Where'd she go? Luan, are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Talk to Luan. Just meet me on my rooftop. Oh, okay. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. Oh. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. Her rooftop, where's that? Look at the map again. Oh, it's miles away. Ah. Okay. Let's get going. Head for that. That'll give us a bit more height. Come on. That's it. So we're going to get into the slipstream of that. Yep. Okay. Alright, let's get onto the roof of this. Okay. There's some bandits or renegades alerted now. So we gotta to get to her rooftop, do we? We're oh, still <laughs> still a long, long way away. Uh gonna get over there. Oh, I don't want to walk like a, a schlub. It's like I might have to though. Let's see if we can get over there. Uh. At least get to that vent. Up, 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 up. Good, we can get onto that yellow stuff. Whoa, that's nice. A little boost there. Don't know where that was coming from. Oh, they're PKs, they're alright. Uh, I've got to go up. Oh, shit. I've got to get up there, do I? How do we manage that? 
Look at the map. Come on, come on. Oh, we're facing it. Oh. Okay, so I think I have to get up this building, get to that vent, and then move over there. Um, okay, that's probably going to be quite difficult, isn't it? Oh, I've got my thing now, haven't I? Might make life a little bit easier. Okay, perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. <laughs> oh, no, this is rubbish. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, we can manage with this, though, can't we? No, perhaps not. Ah, uh, I can get up there. Can we follow this round to another one? All uh, oh, right, this is really quite irritating. I'm just wondering if this is completely the wrong approach. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump down. Whoa, okay, that was good. Let's get over here. Let's see if we can get on, on the roof of this. Oh, look, you said that was the wrong approach. Look, there's a winch there. How stupid. Oh, it's going to take us all the way to the top, isn't it? Idiot. Yay. Oh, Daisy. Right, let's go and speak to this horrible woman. She's going to be cross. What's she doing here anyway? Squatter. She's through there somehow. I have to get over this, do I? Here we go, here we go. Those old misery guts. Where are you? Oh, we can steal stuff. Tape, take that. A UV. Can I have this as a base now? Is there someone to sleep? the generator. A little bit of rubbish. Right, so we're inside a quest area, so we've got to actually look for her. Um, let's that around. There was, a, there was a quest thing then. I've got to wait for her. Oh, effing hell. Damn. Right, let's just sit down. Enjoy the view. Here she is. Are you roasting someone? Is she wearing her shoes? Here. Got your sneakers. They look exactly the same. You should also have this. Why? Is she going to burn it? There you go. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Well, we never did find our underwear drawer, did we? Never mind. Just leave me alone. Yeah, go, can we please? <laughs> That's not attractive. Not an attractive look. Uh, what's going on? Be empathetic. Be practical. Shake it off. Booze. Yeah, such an original way to cope with your loss. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I know someone else who does it. You wouldn't know him by any chance. You suck at being sarcastic. I'm facing tough competition here. 
At least you're not crying anymore. I wasn't crying. Yeah, something got in your eye. <laughs> I'm glad it's out now. Shut the fuck up, Aiden. I will, if you let me have some of Frank's medicine. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. That's nice. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. I didn't think it was. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. How poetic. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Okay, nice, I can huh? understand that then. What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Oh, God. It's kind of happening right now. No, it's not. More likely the other way around. What does that mean? Never. Hmm, not really. Life of a pilgrim doesn't leave much room for romance. I bet. Then your constellation would be Pegasus, the loner. This guy, Bellerophon, thought he could ride on the back of Pegasus to Mount Olympus. But just before they reached it, Pegasus threw him off and flew up there without him. Too proud to carry anyone on his back. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Ask about Hakon. Ask about the poem. Let's get some sleep. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm going to kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. Uh, killing him won't change the past. He didn't seem like a coward to me. You know, I always liked Hakon. Hakon, a coward? That's hard to believe. Maybe you're right. Maybe he's just a traitor. He talked others out of coming to the TV station, too. They left Frank and his team on their own. Then he cut me off, like he never even knew me. And then he fucked off to Waltz. Now, yeah. good night, Aiden. Uh, yeah, Waltz is the name of this GRE scientist who experimented on Aiden and his sister when they were children. Oh, God. Good morning, Villador. It's a brand new day, a brand new world. This is your friend Frank broadcasting. Yes, that's right. Broadcasting from the fisheye. From now on, I'll be bringing you all the good news from around Villador. Helping transform this city back into the community it once was. Luan? Hey, Luan, you there? Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspiration. Well, I think we're in luck. I think she's gone. Aiden, you there? Come to the canteen. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was going to help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm. I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I want to help you, Aiden. You're fine. Be there soon. Okay. All right, completed the shoe. Night runners. Meet Frank in the fisheye. The thing is, if Frank's going to play this awful music all the time, I'm going to regret giving him the station. 
In the last episode, I had a choice between giving the station to Frank or the Peacekeepers. And I gave it to Frank, and I'm starting to regret it. Okay, where is the fish eye? Why is it so smoggy? Right, that's a long way to go, isn't it? So we better start off. Uh, let's just get going. I think we'll probably have to run a lot of it on the ground. Found a lab. That's nice. Yeah. Hi, guys. Right, a little meeting place there. Can I? Can I climb up there? Yeah. Oop, 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 oop. Jump down. What's that? Got a laptop. Let's look in here. Nice. Uh, scraps. Well, it's not dilly dally. Oh, we should be able to get to that thing over there. Oh, actually, I don't think we will, but... Can we get to it? No. I can probably scramble up it, though. Wait for my stamina. Let's just get as close as we can. Oh, there's something over there. What's that building? Oh, no, we're not going to make that. One. It's Aiden. Right, let's get down. Come in. Luan? Come on. Come on, Luan, answer me. You there? Come on. Ah, great. I fixed the transmitter and now you go radio silent. Right, that is a bandit base there. So we could avoid that. Over here. the fish eye there it is there's the balloon that hangs over the fish eye i say balloon i should call it a blimp i suppose uh getting over here uh, so i want to get right we can get to that vent that's going to be easy enough isn't it oh get out of the coup you idiot damn it Shy is right just there. We've gone past it more or less. Oh. Right, okay, here we go. We just get down here, I think. The easiest. Right down, get down. What are you? Well, he's just standing there, is he? Or sitting there, crouching there. Hop. So we'll have a word with Frank. See what's going on. Hopefully he's sobered up. Frank stopped drinking. But I've heard that. Oh, he has, he has stopped drinking, has he? Okay. Where are you? Come on, tell me. Over here? She's still seeing that. This is Frank on Radio Free Villador. You're a neighbor. Your city, once more and forevermore, signing off. Talk to me, Frank. Look, we started off on the wrong foot. I'd like to correct that mistake. Have a drink, yeah, for me. Uh, Frank, I really don't have time for this. I. I have to find another way to find my... Just listen. Walt needs to access that jewelry place. You get it? That's why we have to find that pilgrim. He's offering a lot of fucking crystals for what he's got. And a lot of boosters. Do I have your attention now? Were those? Renegades, yes. But how did you... The TV station used to be controlled by the military. 
They did more than just broadcast from there. Thanks to you, we can now listen in on the enemy. It appears that Waltz is looking for the same database you're after. But the observatory is completely soaked with chemicals. <laughs> I have no idea how this GRE crap works, but Waltz sure seems to know. Maybe the observatory is not the only place to access the database. Is this conversation all you have? Uh, for now. But if we got close to their position and hacked into their frequency, we could collect more intel on Watts' plans. How? The transmission you heard was intercepted near an old military antenna in the wharf, just south of Marsh End Lane. If we activate that antenna, it'll boost the signal and we'll be able to hear everything they say. Every syllable. And you'd know exactly what Waltz is up to. Okay, wouldn't it be quicker to find Waltz? It might be. <laughs> Tell me more about the antennas. Yeah, let's, let's find out about them. Tell me more about these antennas. The military installed them on the tallest buildings to blanket the entire city. They're extremely hard to access, but all we need is the one nearest to where those renegades were based. When the signal's stronger, we'll be able to hear everything they say. Now the good thing is, it's the closest antenna to the canteen. You shouldn't have trouble finding it. Okay, let's do it. All right, anything else before I get going? Oh, one more thing. Look at that poster, Aiden. Yours? Night runners used to abide by that creed. Live by it. I used to think we were as torn apart as that piece of paper. But the creed still means something. And if you increase the range, I can contact the remnants of the old night runners. Some must still be alive. I see it now. <laughs> this means a lot to you, doesn't it? Not just to me. To everyone here. But there's one piece missing. Do you know why I haven't thrown this poster away in all this time? You're lazy. Because of Luan. Oh. When I saw her for the first time, she was maybe, what, eight, nine years old. She was barely alive. She looked like she hadn't eaten in a year. And she was trying to help some kids get a crystal back from a thief. The guy was threatening them with a knife. He was twice their size, stronger, and she jumped on him. Bit his hands so deep that his screams were heard as far away as old Villador. After that, she gave the crystal to one of the boys and left. She didn't get anything out of it. She didn't have to risk it. I looked at her and thought, this is all we have left. As humans, we can fight one another. Everybody just for themselves. Or, no matter what, we can stand up for each other. Then I wrote down this credo. That little girl helped the Night Runners become who they were for years. And if we are to be reborn, we cannot do it without her. Oh, bloody hell, I'm on my way. Can we just end this? Okay, I'm on my way. Then go get him. I'll be on the radio. You remind me of Luan, oh. before she became obsessed with that goddamn hit list of hers. I'll get ears on the renegades for you. I'll find out what Waltz is up to. I promise. Oh, I'm starting to wish I'd gone with the other guy. The thing is, I had a choice between giving, you know, the radio transmitter to Frank Good or the peacekeepers. Day, but the peacekeeper could just wander in here any time they wanted and just take over the damn radio. <laughs> it's ludicrous, really. I'm trying to get out of here now. I'm trying to find my bed. Was a harmless there we go, there we go. Right, well I've had enough. It looks like this next mission might be quite tough. Let's just check it out. On the map, please. Can't even see it. Oh, it's over there, okay. Right, I've given control of the tower to Frank. Um, go to the military antenna. Okay, well we'll do that in the next episode. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you again for the next one. And until I do see you again, I shall say goodnight. Okay then, cheerio.